guys, Blue Kool-Aid here. Hey, um, I'm going to give you an update on that little CME thing I've been talking about here the past couple days. Seen one pop off, well, I guess yesterday or the day before. Um, you know, and I showed you an object on Core 2. Um, I figured out what that object is. Um, but Scott here, Scott over at Planet X News, he, he, he told me to go ahead and use this. He did a little 43, 48 second video here. Um, it actually shows, I think this is from the SDO. Um, or Soho or something. I can't remember which satellite it's from. Um, anyway, it is, uh, it is direct, it, it was partially earth facing. So we may see some magnetic disruptions here on, here on, uh, our magnetosphere and stuff, um, from this. Um, but he caught the filament, um, releasing. Okay. Uh, what do I mean by that? It's just, uh, I'll show you. But yeah. So anyway, um, thanks Scott for letting me use this. Um, and one more thing, guys. There's a channel out there called uh, Brian Knight. I'll leave a link to his channel. He actually uh, showed this CME before anybody else did. He caught it. He must have been looking at the tool at the exact right time. And he, you know, he posted a video on it, and that was great. You know, go over and check him out. Um, you know, show him some love and tell him, tell him good job for getting that out there that quick. I mean, he beat us all to the punch, and I think it's great because. You know, it just tells me that more and more people are looking at these tools. And that's been the goal of mine since I started this channel, guys. Just remember what I say when I say, you know, it's going to take all of us. And when I say that, I actually truly mean that. And it's going to be a collective between everything that we're all researching. And when, where those things overlap is going to be where you find the truth. So, you know, and that goes for historical stuff, in my opinion, too. So, anyway, um, I'm going to show you this video here real quick. It's really cool. He caught it caught it pretty good here. Um, play. See that? It's up in here. Look at that. Ain't that cool? Bam. Bam. <laughs> I mean, I think it's awesome. That's cool. I, I like seeing stuff like that. I mean, you can just, you can physically see it. it. That filament just whipped right on out. Escaped the gravity of the sun. Look at that one. That, that one really is. It got some good contrast and it shows it pretty good. Boom. Okay. And you can even see, pay attention to the shape there. See that? So when I take you over here to what it looks like right now, it's going to have that same shape just from a different angle. So anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for letting me use that, Scott. It, it helps a lot being able to do that. And I also want to say, guys, that uh, if you guys ever see any of my videos or any of my content, you guys want to use it, I never tell people no, okay? I don't. Um, you know, I don't monetize my channel, so I don't, I don't have any um, issue with that. I'm not trying to make, you know, get views and all that stuff for money. I'm just not, uh, you know, so if you guys want to use my content at any time, you go right ahead. Um, just please don't misrepresent it. Um, if you do put it out there, you know, if you use my stuff, by all means, look at it. Critique me all you want. But just don't re misrepresent what I'm trying to say and do. Um, you know, and I get that some people are going to do that on purpose. It's already been done a bunch. <laughs> I just don't comment on it and i just let it go and you know people are smart people figure it out so anyway we're gonna look at this real quick there's that cme you see it boom okay now what was i talking about an object right guys you know i showed this already once it's on the core two it's over here you see it off here to the left i'm just gonna show it to you right there now i was wondering what this was Okay, why did it even matter? Well, when we see a CME pop off, the first thing that I do is I actually try to find a reason on why that even happened. Okay, now I'm going to pop back up here and show you this image first. Okay, um, so we try to figure it out, right? Now... How do we do that? How do we try to figure out what caused it? Well, you know, sometimes I don't think the sun normally does this unless it's being provoked somehow. Okay. Has to be being influenced by another object. It may do some of these just naturally or what have you. But uh, 
something and, and what I'm saying here guys is if you look the the object that I just showed you on core two sits about right here. See up here on the right, the pink dot I just drew. Well the CME was right here. Okay, it's right in the middle, straight line right down the middle, guys. Okay. So what is that object? Well that object turned out to be Venus. Okay. Remember I said it could it could possibly be Venus. I didn't think it was Mercury because Mercury was already had already shown up and was moving across the other way. Trans you know, transient it the other way, other direction. So Sechi updates, okay. And this is the same core too. It's just they put it in their their little format here, and they, they always have a like a two to three day lag, and I've talked about this before. So if you want like real time, you know, you need to go to ISWA or the seed site I just took you to. Um, but you're not going to get you're not going to get the the day of imaging at Sechi. But with that being said, you do get some pretty good views here. This is, uh, I mean, they do a good job of showing what's going on. Pictures are clear. Um, those kinds of things. And this is really the only place you get to see HI1, HI2 in, a, in a, any kind of decent way. So, we're, we're going to do the core two here, guys. And obviously, pause it. Let's let it run through. Okay. Um, we'll pause it right there. All right. So, what are we looking at, right? This is the 22nd. Remember, this is two, almost three days ago. There's Mercury. Remember, I said it was moving to the right. The CME happened right here on this side of the sun. Okay. So pay attention right out there next to Mercury. Watch what happens. Um, I'm just going to step it, I guess. Well, where are we at here? Let's push play. Pause. Okay. You see it starting coming into frame there, right? And we see that often, you know, if there's a bright, a bright object out there. The object itself is right there, but when it gets to the edge of the capture, you'll see it shoot off light like that. Remember I told you yesterday or in one of my videos before the shape of that? And we've, we've looked at this Venus thing before, okay? Um, a lot of people have mistaken that for a lot of different things, and it is. It's Venus. They call it the comet planet for a reason because it acts very much like a comet. It looks a lot like a comet. Now, I know everybody's going to look at this, Okay? This is the, the quote-unquote Kool-Aid cars, which I thought was cool when, you know, when it first came out there. But this, in my opinion, I don't think this is anything to really be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, over, okay? What, my opinion on this, I think this right here is part of the camera mechanism inside, okay? There's a lot of reasons I think that. I'm not going to go into big detail, but you can... First off, it's just too symmetrical. It's too uniform. It's definitely, I can tell you this much, if that's not the camera, the stuff that's inside this camera, or the stuff that's inside this telescope, or whatever they're using here, um, if it's not a camera flaw or a camera anomaly, this is definitely intelligently designed. There's nothing there that's natural. That's just too symmetrical. We see it a lot. It always comes in that, seems like it comes in that group of the same number. So, I mean, it, it just makes sense, guys. Okay? Um, but anyway, there's Mercury. We'll go ahead and step it forward here a little bit more. You're going to see it. Okay, Mercury's going off the screen. This one's coming on. And look what pops up. Again, Venus. Okay? That was Venus. So, we fig I figured out what it was. Anyway... Um, that object now i do think that sometimes because the sun does react with venus like this sometimes so it must have been in that right position and that's why we had that cme because it popped right off of venus um i would be interested to see and i probably will i'll go look at the cme tracker and see where that thing if it gives venus a full blow when it hits it <laughs> if it was facing venus i'd be interested to see what that does to venus's magnetics but anyway um just want to bring that to you guys. Um, again, go check out Brian Knight and Fun X News. Thanks for letting me use that, Scott, that video. Um, I'll leave some links, guys, to that. Uh, again, there's going to be more on this whole atmosphere get you know being bigger than what we what we thought. Um, that's going to be a subject for a very long time. I can guarantee you that. And just know that this 
what I'm calling a soft disclosure is going to get harder and harder disclosure. It's going to get faster. It's going to get quicker. It's going to become more and more intense as far as the information that they're going to be releasing. Um, you know, the magnetic north, that's going to be another big subject that's it's already being talked about, at least in our circles. And I guarantee you it's being talked about in many others. Um, so, anyway, guys. Um, oh, yeah, go check out Marf, Marf Google TV. You know, he's been doing a really good job. I followed him, like I said before, since the beginning. They actually, I, I remember when he first started, they actually lit a fire in his <laughs> the lobby of his apartment. And he missed a couple days of videos because of it and all those kinds of things. But, yeah, he's he's been through the ringer, too, guys. He's been attacked just like the rest of us. So, but anyway, guys, God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.